Hi, this is Teresa with Finger Lakes Wine Country. Today we embark on our fourth tour of some of the most beautiful places in the Finger Lakes. We start these tours out of inspiration by budget travel readers naming the Finger Lakes as the most beautiful wine region in the world. So we asked our Facebook fans to tell us about a few of their favorite places, which we are sharing with you in this video series. So come on, let's get the show on the road. Our travels today bring us to Corning. Like Mark Twain Country, which we toured last week, Corning is the southern gateway to the Finger Lakes wine producing area. Here you'll find a small city with sophisticated flair and enchanting history. Located in the heart of this beautiful city is the Gaffer District. The name of the district is actually a tribute to Corning's glass heritage. You see, a Gaffer, like the one you see here, on the famous Little Joe Tower, is the word used for a master glass blower. The Gaffer District is a shopping, dining, and entertainment center in the Finger Lakes. Here you'll find tree-lined streets that offer a good mix of one-of-a-kind stores and factory outlet shops, world-class museums and local art galleries, and a restored movie theater that's really something for your eyes to see. If you're looking for a fun way to tour the Gaffer District, try taking a historic walking tour. The tour includes 19 places of interest, shedding light on local legends and the history behind the district's architectural treasures. The Gaffer District is really a dining mecca in the Finger Lakes. From pizza to upscale dining, they have it all. And several places like the Cellar and the Gaffer Grill and Tap Room carry a fantastic Finger Lakes wine list. Also on Friday and Saturday night, you can catch live entertainment at several bars and restaurants. Plus, Bottles and Forks, the local wine store, offers wine tasting on these days. Corning's Gaffer District is home to two incredible museums. The Corning Museum of Glass and the Rockwell Museum of Western Art are both must-sees during your stay in wine country. You can actually purchase a combination pass for both museums and receive a discounted rate. Also, kids and teens are always free at these museums, and there's a free shuttle to take you from one museum to the other. The Corning Museum of Glass truly has something for everyone. Here you can catch a live glass making show for their extensive museum of glass art history, or for the do-it-yourself where you can get hands-on for the make-your-own-glass experience. Another fantastic place to visit for great artwork is the West End Gallery. They feature work from more than 40 artists that use oils, acrylics, wood, bronze, and several other mediums in their pieces. Also, admission here is free and open to the public. If you're interested in seeing living art that continues to be a work in progress for Mother Nature, just head up the hill from Corning's Gaffer District to the Corning Community College Planetarium. Every first and third Friday of the month, this is the place to catch an eye-opening multimedia show that's followed by a night sky observation. This truly is an unforgettable experience. It's something you'll carry with you no matter where you be the night sky. Thanks for joining me again as we toured some of the most beautiful places in the Finger Lakes. For more information about the places that we did see today, please visit FingerLakesTravelJournal.com. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.